Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Missouri with Jimmy from JC News Now as he seeks justice, but justice is so far denied. I mean, what do you expect? You were the antagonist in this whole situation, dude. At any rate, guys, he is expecting to get justice from what he considers to be an injustice where he uh, was auditing a medical marijuana dispensary and ended up getting socked by one of the employees because, well, he was just being as antagonistic toward everybody as he could possibly be. In fact, I will leave a link in the description box below. But he's on the phone with the prosecutor's office, hoping that they will be doing their jobs. But so far, not very well, according to him. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? JC News Now. Uh, let's do a follow-up on uh, Big Jake. I'm calling the prosecutor to see how these charges are going, see if he's... Uh, took the police report and see what's going up and seeing when a court date is and so let's give him a call yeah for anybody that doesn't remember this big guy right here took it upon himself to teach this uh idiotic frauditor a lesson in manners and and well this frauditor is kind of hoping that uh, the prosecutor's office will press charges on him and uh, put him away. But you know what? The prosecutor's office has the video, and I'm sure they're going to take a look at it and notice how antagonistic this sorry SOB was being to begin with and probably decide not to do anything about it. But we'll see. Hi, Charity. My name is Jimmy. Uh, I, I was assaulted on the 14th of June in Hollister, and the police uh, sergeant said that he filed a report and sent it to the prosecutor. And I was wondering if you could tell me how that was going. And when the. Do you have the defendant's name? Jacob. Okay, I'm not seeing that we've received anything recently on someone named Jacob Gardner. It doesn't look like we have any cases on him. Oh. Uh, I, I can't remember that sergeant's name right off the top of my head, but he said he filed the report and forwarded it to the prosecutor. My name's Jimmy, if that helps. Okay, I mean, because if we don't have his name, we wouldn't have your name. Um, so, I mean, we can't do anything until we've received a report, and like I said, it doesn't look like that we have received one from them yet. Well, dude, are the wheels of justice moving a bit too slowly for you? Why don't you go and call one of your constitutional law expert friends that gives you advice all the time and put you in this situation to begin with? And I'm sure they'll help you out a great deal in greasing up those wheels. So I'm not sure if they're like in the process of sending it over, but it doesn't look like we have received that yet from them. Okay, well, I'll go back and talk to them, I guess. Okay, yeah, and just let them know that we haven't received it yet, so if they need to resend it, I mean, we will definitely get it in as soon as we get it. All right, well, I appreciate your time. Yep, have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, poor little guy. You just can't get the satisfaction you feel that you deserve. Well, dude... I mean, like I said, the wheels of justice move slowly, and in your case, I think uh, the wheels of justice will come to a dead halt because, well, you provoked that whole situation. And sometimes, if you do that, it just doesn't exactly work out in your favor. So, heed that lesson for the next time. Somebody's lying. And I don't think it was that sergeant. I think the prosecutor's lying to me. So I guess we're going to have to go down there 
and I'm going to have to get back past Shay and Carter. So I'm not going to be able to take my phone in on this one because they're, uh, they're enforcing a judge's order that there's no filming on the courthouse, period, instead of the courtroom and the court clerk's office. This is unconstitutional. Oh, isn't that cute? Mr. Constitutional Law Expert thinks it's unconstitutional to disallow cameras in the courtroom, even though this is the kind of thing that's been going on for as long as there's been cameras. That's how it works in southern Missouri. It's a good old boy system. They're protecting this dude. They're protecting their revenue is what it looks like to me. Uh, we're going to find out, though, because I don't give up.